guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel for the first time today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these little wine tumblers for a Christmas gift these would not only be perfect for gifts for your loved ones for holidays but also these are super easy to customize for like bachelorette parties weddings anything like that um, I think they turned out super cute. This was my first time doing anything like this, and it was extremely easy. I got these 12-ounce wine tumblers on Amazon. I will link them in my Amazon shop down below. They are stainless steel double wall tumbler. They came in a lot of different colors, and you could choose online which colors you wanted. I got a variety pack so that I could have a lot of different colors in the gift that I'm giving. These also came with really awesome lids. Obviously I haven't used any of these yet but they look like really nice quality. On Amazon it did say it came with straws and then straw cleaners. They did not. It was not in the box. I don't know what happened um, but we didn't get any but that's okay. I still would recommend buying these. Outside of the tumblers I also used this clear acrylic sealer Mod Podge Spray, Black and White Premium Vinyl from Cricut, Transfer Tape from Cricut, and my Cricut Explore Air 2. Instead of using the Cricut like design app thing on the computer, I actually used Canva to design all these. I was able to change the background color and then try the font color and like the design and everything on Canva to see how it looked and make sure that I liked everything. I think Canva is super easy to use and I really do love it. So I made all the designs in this space. I use that for my photography marketing and everything like that so I'm very familiar with Canva but you can really design your designs anywhere. After this I imported them into Cricut Design Space and we were good to go. While my Cricut was cutting everything out I just used some rubbing alcohol and cleaned the outside of the cups. I saw this was recommended on a YouTube tutorial that I watched so this is what I did to clean them and make sure that they were good to go for putting the vinyl on. I weeded everything after it was cut out and then I used transfer tape to transfer the vinyl onto the tumblers. I really just kind of eyeballed everything to make sure that it looked right, it looked straight, it looked center even, everything like that. And then I just did this process over and over and over again. I ended up with eight awesome different designs. All of them are different colors. They all are different. They go together but they are not like matchy matchy twins. I am obsessed with these. I think my mother-in-law is going to absolutely love them. I tried to customize them towards her style to say things like life is better at the lake. She wants these. She asked for tumblers for Christmas to use at their new lake house and so I knew that they would like all of the quotes, initials, everything like that on here. It only took me a couple hours to do all eight of these and once they were all done I just took them outside and sprayed them with the Mod Podge. This was also recommended online. I had bought like the paint on Mod Podge but then someone said that wouldn't be even and I was like oh my gosh yes you're right I should just go and get the spray so I got the spray worked really well everything is now like super shiny and I am just obsessed I think they're gonna like it these look super professional I'm really pleased with myself um and I just am so excited for them to have them and to gift them uh to them for them to use and this was just super easy, so I wanted to just share it with you and show you guys that it was possible to do this. I had zero experience before this. I just can't even express to you how easy this was to do. The only tips that I have are, it, depending on your design, you will have some designs that curve around. I don't have one of those with me here right now. Um, but where this starts to like curve down and curve over, I would just cut the transfer tape so that it would be easier to lay certain sections down. Um, without having any bubbles or anything in the design. So it works really well. Super simple, super easy. Yeah, um, I hope you guys try this project on your own. Let me know in the comments down below if you do. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Bye!